My dear friends, welcome to Renewal Fire. In this series of talk, we are understanding the mystery of God the Father, God the Father, and also deeper understanding of the Our Father prayer. And I tell you, since then I have learned these uh, details of Our Father prayer from the Catechism of Catholic Church. My life is, and my prayer life is, the way I pray Our Father prayer, and the way I experience the Eucharist is completely different. And I am 100% hopeful that the whole church slowly will recapitulate this treasure the great prayer Jesus taught us, Jesus praying with us, our Father. Let us first pray to Holy Spirit to help us and to pray for us to understand this mystery of our Father prayer. Shandala halabala makiriya, oh renewal fire. May the fire of this renewal illumine our heart to understand the depth of this great prayer which Jesus himself is praying with us. Jesus taught us to bring the whole humanity in our prayer to Father so that the kingdom may come, the whole humanity will slowly be transformed and be united with the Father. Amen. We can adore the Father because he has caused us to be reborn to his life by adopting us as his children in his only son. By baptism, we incorporate us into the body of Christ through the anointing of his spirit who flows from the head to the members. He makes us other Christ that we become another Christ through the spirit of the Father. The same, the spirit which worked in Jesus in, in incarnating Jesus to the Son of God, that same spirit is working in us so that we become adopted children of God as his children in his only son. So by baptism, he incorporates us into the body of Christ. A teaching from St. Cyril of Jerusalem, we learned God indeed who has predestined us to adoption as his sons, has conformed us to the glorious body of Christ. So then you who have become sharers in Christ, are appropriately called Christus, Christ. The new man reborn and restored to his God by grace says first of all, Father. So that is the first cry of the baptized Christian which has great impact, great meaning when a baptized person First time call God Father. This he has received because he is filled, he is empowered, he is reborn with the same spirit of his son. And St. Ambrose's teaching says, O man, you did not dare to raise your face to heaven. You lowered your eyes to the earth. And suddenly you have received the grace of Christ. All your sins have been forgiven. That is, O oh man, you did not dare to raise your face to heaven because the mankind were so much lowered because of their sin. That is what I might have said or if it is a individualism. A man is an individual when he do not experience God the Father. When he experiences God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, he is no more an individual. He is a person. A person is to be understood different from an individual. A person is not an individual. From the 
Genesis chapter 126, when God said, let us make man in our own image and likeness. So God is the first person. So what is the image of God? This first person is not alone. The person there means God in one person. There are three persons. God is one, but in that one person, there are three persons. That is called person. This personality of three in one is given to us by God's creation. And God created us in this way, but this personal communion is tarnished because of the original sin and that man lowered himself to be an individual. He set away, he parted away from this Trinitarian participation. He denied that privilege and he chose to live on his own by choosing his own. That is a big thing because man has no faculty to, or it is God's only faculty to discern what is good and bad. When man do it, he does it without God. He can do it only with God. When he does himself by eating the fruit of the tree of knowledge, that means he himself choose to decide what is right and what is wrong, at that very fact, he is denying God's participation because no man can choose what is good and bad without God. Without God, no man can do it. That is why the original sin caused such a painful, heartbreaking situation to the whole humanity as well as to God. Here is such a great crowning expectation that God created man as a crown of creation like God, but he never realized that is something very good and very important. He refused or he denied or he, he left that participation when he decided to choose himself to decide what is good and bad, that also listening to the evil. So here he did not consider what God said, instead he considered what evil said. This is a situation of man wherein St. Ambrose says, O oh man, you did not dare to raise your face to heaven. You lowered your eyes to the earth. That is the fall, sinful situation. But suddenly you have received the grace of Christ. All your sins have been forgiven. So that is God's initiation. In spite of man has fallen, God initiated his compassion, his mercy, because God knew very well this man who has been created from the earthly stuff will have the earthly inclination. So, now the sins are forgiven. From being a wicked servant, you have become a good son. So, man's status now, thereafter, after coming of Christ, completely changed. Before that, his status was like a wicked servant. But now, after coming of Christ, you have become a good son, a good son. Then raise your eyes to the Father who has begotten you through baptism. To the Father who has redeemed you through his Son. And says, our Father. So through baptism, Father has begotten you, he begotten us, and he has redeemed us. He not only made us his own son, he redeemed us, he justified us. He took our sin upon his own son 
and completely made us free. That freedom, with that freedom we are calling our Father. With that freedom. But do not claim any privilege. He is the Father in a special way only of Christ. But he is the common father of us all. Because while he has begotten only Christ, he has created us. See, Christ is the only begotten son. But we are created, he, we are created by God. Then also say by his grace, our father, so that you may merit being his son. So he has created us and given us that spirit of his son so that now we can say you we can merit his son being his son we are his son by that merit because the spirit of his son is in us now 2784 says the free gift of adoption requires on our part continual conversion and new life. Praying to our Father should develop in us two fundamental dispositions. Now through baptism we become children of God. We are adopted children of God. We have all inheritance. We have all rights. Now using these rights, using this sanctifying grace, Using this transforming power of grace, we need a daily work on it. We need to daily have a conversion. On our part, continual conversion. Praying to our Father should develop in us two fundamental dispositions. First, the desire to become like Him. See, our whole desire must be to be like him, to be like the Father. And that is what eventually it will be achieved, that eventually we all will be transformed and we become holy and we will see him face to face and we will be like him. First John chapter 3. See what love the Father has bestowed on us. We may be called the children of God, yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall, he has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him. We shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. We shall be like him. This is the first desire. Desire to become like him. Theatikism 2784 that Two fundamental dispositions we need. The first one is the desire to become like him. Though created in his image, we are restored to his likeness by grace. And we must respond to this grace. Now, grace, what is grace? I always say grace is the participation of the divine life into human life divine nature into human nature. So this divine life participated into the sinful human life, transforming, empowering, illumining, enlightening, justifying, restoring, justified and restored. We are now restored to his likeness. What is his likeness? His likeness is eternal and spiritual. Eternal and spiritual. He is eternal and he is spirit. So that likeness by grace and we must respond to this grace. So this initiation is already given to us. 
but we don't know the content of this initiation we don't know fully the content of this initiation that is where we have to grow in it we must remember and know that when we call god our father we ought to behave as sons of god we have to behave as sons of god this is saint cyprian's reflection we must remember and now that when we call god our father we ought to have behave as sons of god you cannot call the god of all kindness your father if you preserve a cruel and inhuman heart for in this case you no longer have in you the marks of the heavenly father's kindness very challenging situation we say our father is so loving we say our father is mercy we say our father is kind we say our father do not even remember sins we say our father brings rain upon the just and unjust but that our father is in us and we call and identify and adore that father yet how can a cruel inhuman uncharitable thought or action can come in our heart in our heart recently i heard in a place there were many christians and non christians together but a new family came there they had no water and these people refused to give them water you are a new person you have to find out your own way for water i realize oh my god where do we stand and they are christians oh my god how could they refuse to give water to a neighbor and be a christian that really made a question in my heart are we not the same place like jesus met the samaritan woman who refused to give him water and saint agustin used to say this is not a individual of that woman but it is the humanity's image so even today although we are christians we say we pray our father prayer we are very much far away from this charity to our neighbor that father is kindness to our neighbor so that is the first step which will be something an experience of god the father how do you know that you experience god the father how do i know i experience god the father the best way is the sign or that is the way i consider my neighbor and my people am i charitable and kindness to them if not my father's stamp is not in my soul the father's spirit of kindness is not yet radiated although we are in grace we have received the grace to baptism but we have not responded to this grace the working of the grace we have to respond so that is where you cannot call the god of all kindness your father if you preserve a cruel and inhuman heart for in this case you no longer have in you the marks of the heavenly father's kindness saint john chrysostom we are praying our father prayer so we are baptized we received the grace we have that kindness of father in us but this has to radiate through our daily life free gift of adoption requires on our part continual conversion and new life that new life must radiate in our daily life in our 
uh, to our neighbors. We must contemplate the beauty of the Father without ceasing and adorn our own souls accordingly. We must contemplate the beauty of the Father without ceasing. So this beauty of the Father and the kindness of the Father, we have to reflect and transform, pray for a transformation of our soul. Second, 2785, second, a humble and trusting heart that enables us to turn and become like children. For it is so, little children, that the Father is revealed. That's why Jesus often say, like a children. Kingdom of God is like these little children. The prayer is accomplished by the contemplation of God alone and by the warmth of love through which the soul molded and directed to love him, speaks very familiarly to God as to its own father with special devotion. Our father, at this name, love is aroused in us and the confidence of obtaining what we are about to ask. What would he not give to his children who ask since he has already granted them gift of being his children. He would give everything because the greatest gift he has given is to be his children. Our Father in heaven. Let us experience that great love. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not lead us to temptation, but deliver us, Lord, from all evil. Deliver us from all evil. For yours is the kingdom, power, and glory. Shandala halabala, makiri Allah halabala, O Holy Spirit, may this renewal fire renew our heart with that likeness of the Father. Amen.